In today's video, I paint a YouTuber's truck using four and a half cans of Rust-Oleum Turbo Paint. Let's get started with this process. I'ma do this thing my way. Let's go. Been grinding hard on it all day. It's okay. We work hard, then we all play. What's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna be painting a local YouTuber's truck uh, using the Rust-Oleum Turbo Paint. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for four cans, see if I can get the whole thing done with four cans. If I can't, he's got more, um, but I'm just trying to set a, lo a limit for myself, like a little goal. But I'm gonna head over to his house right now. Uh, he's already got it prepped for us. So basically we'll just wipe it down and uh, start spraying. So let's get started going over there. But I wanted to show you this uh, piece right here that Houston Speed Freak sent me. They actually make this. Um, his YouTube link will be in the description. But it has a spot for buttons and gauges. Now I have the gauge pot around the uh, speedometer, but I'm going to be putting an oil pressure, a water temperature, and a voltage gauge in here. That way I can monitor all the important aspects. Um, but these will be just toggle switches. This one I'll have probably for my interior glow because I just want some interior glow because I'm a racer like that. But uh, this one right here will be for my intercooler. Uh, I'll have fans on the back of that. So I'll have a button there for that, just like this one. These aren't, this isn't hooked up to anything yet. And uh, the other ones will go to other things, but I haven't figured out what, what they'll go to yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started going to his house. All right, so here's the truck that I'm going to be spraying. He already has it prepped. Um, there's no room in the garage for it. This is why we can't shoot it in the garage. It's pretty filled up, um, so we just have to shoot it out here. So it's gonna have to be shot out in the direct sunlight. I don't recommend shooting it out in the direct sunlight, but uh, it's not all of it that's exposed to the direct sunlight. We've got passenger side, it's in the shade. So um, it's not really hot out right now. It's I don't know, 60 something degrees. So it should be fine. Um, we're just gonna shoot this. Uh, I'll start up at the roof and work my way down and then uh, we'll go from there. But the bed's not getting done right now. So I'll step up in there to do the uh, roof and then work my way around. So I'm gonna get started uh, painting with the turbo paint. Here's the turbo paint that I'm gonna be using. It's just Rust-Oleum's uh, gloss black, not sponsored by Rust-Oleum by the way. Um, but this is the stuff he wants to use, so we're gonna see how many cans. I'm shooting for four cans total. I'm gonna try to go for four cans on the whole thing, and uh, that's just a goal I'm setting for myself. But if we have to use them all, we have to use them all. But I'm gonna try to only use four. So we'll see how it turns out. All right, so we got one can down. We've got pretty much a light coat on that entire side. Um, can started leaking, but one can did the entire roof and that and pretty much that entire side. Could it be three cans? It might be. <laughs> the three cans painted. We will see. We will see. Three cans. All 
All right, so I used four cans so far and it's come out pretty nice. I mean, it does have its imperfections in the actual body, like dents and stuff. Um, I'm gonna use this fifth can. So technically it took four to cover everything. I'm just gonna do some touch up spots uh, with the fifth can, but uh, I hit my goal of using four cans to do the entire truck. Um, the touch up cans will technically count, so I guess it would be five cans total, but uh, I painted it in four. Now I'm doing touch ups with the fifth. So overall, it's not too bad. Definitely don't paint in the sunlight. It dries a little too fast. And uh, this is the results. Like I said, there is imperfections in the body. So don't mind those. He just wanted it covered um, over what you've seen was on there. So are you happy with it? Oh yeah, love stiff. Awesome. Uh, the wind wasn't too bad, but it did pick up in a couple spots. But like, I'm gonna hit all these spots right here with the uh, touch up can. And then this will be getting truck bed coated later on down the road after he cleans it and uh, preps all that. But overall, it's really not too bad. So Rust-Oleum turbo painted truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit those touch up spots. You guys will definitely have to check his channel out. Link will be in my description so you can uh, check his. <laughs> 254. Right. So definitely check the link out. LS, uh, <laughs> LS swaps, uh, little DIY stuff. Uh, I got this one here, 5.3. This is how 5.3. And the newest edition, which is coming soon, 86 Cutlass. Getting this beautiful little 6 right here. Yeah, like this this was my first paint experience. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna tackle the truck. That's why I said calling the professional. As long as you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. Oh yeah. That's I mean, like I said before, it's not my best paint job, but it's also not my worst and it looks really good for only using I think four and a half yeah, cans. And a half cans. You know. I and mean, we did some touch up stuff and I wasted the last of that can, but you know, I just uh yeah, looks pretty good. And we'll uh, check back up on it after a while, so give the subscribers something to see an update on. Yeah, other, otherwise it looks really good, working with the conditions we have, you know, the sun and all that. And uh, the overspray didn't get on any of the vehicles, so everyone always says the overspray is gonna yeah, be on there. Spray. No. I got a vehicle right there, vehicle right there. Like... Yeah, there's no overspray on it. The wind wasn't very bad, so. Uh, it's, it did start picking up, but I blocked it with my arms, so now my arms are nice and <laughs> sticky, but otherwise came out pretty good, and you know, being in the direct sunlight, you're not supposed to paint, and especially not black, because it'll dry too fast, but this Rust-Oleum paint really doesn't dry very fast. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> we only did this because that's, that's all we have on time, and you know, he works throughout the week, and I'm too busy working and doing everything with my family, so. We had some time today, so we just knocked it out. But a good little wet sanding and buff would be great, but this isn't gonna be a show truck for him. He just wanted to cover it up, make it look a little better than it did. So if he wet sanded this down with like 1,000, 1,500 grit, something like that, and then uh, put some polish on it, it'd look a lot better. But he's happy with it, then I'm happy with it. How much did you spend total on this paint? Uh, probably about right around 50 to 60 bucks. So about, uh, got it from Home Depot. Nice. So about 50 to 60 bucks worth of uh, Rust-Oleum Turbo paint. Was that five cans? So yeah, five cans. So yeah, five cans is w way more than plenty to do a big truck like this. I mean, uh, if you had a smaller car, I'd say four cans easy yeah. will cover it. But we had to go over things a couple times because being out in the sun, we got some issues that we had to address. But otherwise, it came out pretty good. Only thing I recommend is staying a decent distance back because if you're too close, this Rust-Oleum Turbo Paint will run really easy. So, well, um, we're gonna get all this 
paper off of it and see how it looks with everything uh, taken off of there. We've got most of it already peeled off. He's uh, finishing up around little spots. Now the seal on this right here, as you can see, it's uh, like a red color. He's getting this window taken out and getting new seals in, so he wasn't too worried about that. Um, this is his first time prepping a vehicle, so he did pretty good for his first time. Um, and the stuff on the windows right here, you can use acetone to get that off. This was prior to the yeah, black. Prior. But uh, the fine mesh steel wool can take this right off. They sell it at O'Reilly's. Go to your local O'Reilly's and pick some up. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's. We're gonna get sued. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, basically this windshield, as you can see, is cracked. So like around the seal and stuff, he's not too worried about that. Um, so that's getting yeah, all that's, replaced. So that, yeah, that windshield is, is done. It's got to come out. <laughs> yeah. It's got to come out. But yeah, overall, it doesn't look too bad. But, you know, the sun and the wind, these are factors you don't want to paint in. So just trust me when I say not to paint in the sun or the wind. But yeah, so that's basically it for this uh, video. Uh, there's the Civic out there looking good in the sun. I'm going to go and show you the Civic real quick because... The sun's out, and I like showing this pearl in the uh, paint, as you can see here. It's harder to see on camera than you can see it in person. It looks really good in person. But uh, yeah, that pearl looks really nice out here in the sun. And this is tractor paint. If you don't remember that video, I'll link it in the description. Painted this with an electric spray gun for houses, and uh, it came out really good. It was just an experiment, but it came out really good, and then we put the uh, HVLP use the HVLP gun and put a Pearl 2K clear over the top and it looks really nice. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Um, definitely subscribe to his channel, check the links in the description and uh, he'll have uh, his point of view video of this being painted. So well, as I like to say, no risk, no reward. But until next time, God bless. Oh,